are you doing? On this almost Tuesday, and for some of you, Tuesday already, I hope you're doing well. Just out there watching a little friend, so anyway. So, what do everyone think about? And I know anybody who's been into the UF, ufology UFO <laughs> has probably heard of Valiant Thor. And the one the one really that has been documented, supposedly, even though they haven't let it out, really. Um, that one could say was the good guy, the good guy, the one good guy that we have seen proof of, yeah, not really proof of, but heard of, and they won't give us any info on it, huh? This Valiant Thor, supposedly, even though they just call him Val, really. Um, was in a, landed in a farmer's field, they, and I'm sure most people know the story already, they took him, the police came, they took him to the, him and a, and a couple of his comrades, right, they took him to, um, the, uh, White House, of course, Pentagon, I think, actually, and they went under the White House, well, the meeting, and the, but they claim there's no underground, well, they do actually say there is under the White House, but nowhere else, huh? Um, but we know there's undergrounds everywhere, and they use them all the time. Anyway, um, but anyway, and supposedly Rear Admiral Byrd's nephew, which, let me get that over here, his name was Harley Andrew Byrd, and um, it's Nancy Warren who worked at the Pentagon with the alien agenda and all that, and Dr. Frank Strange's, I think that's his name, all talked about this guy, and let's not forget that President Eisenhower and Vice President Nixon also supposedly had met this guy. And, um, but of course, and, and uh, but of course, uh, actually, I have to say in his defense, President Eisenhower actually did want to actually tell the world about this guy. But his, all the council and everyone, they vetoed him. It wasn't like they just said, you really shouldn't. They vetoed him. Why should you? <laughs> I think it's weird that we uh, have, that they have that. Where people can, you know, if you're a president, you should be this should mean something. I mean, I know they, they're doing that so because they don't want a dictator, right? I get it. But at the same time, I, when it comes down to that, I think you should be allowed to, you know, tell everyone. Can you imagine if they would, because this happened March 16, 1957. Could you imagine if they would have told the world back then and we would know about these things? What a different world would that be? And that's if it's true, and but I believe it more than I don't. Can you imagine what how different this world would be? I mean, if they would tell about that, they, I, we would know, we probably have documents and proof about a whole lot of other things as well. I do believe that President Eisenhower was one of the few who really did want to get all this stuff out there. I think it would have been cool to live in the President Eisenhower uh, era. I don't know. Maybe. But, um, yeah, they didn't want the... Val didn't come there to help with the, the agenda of wars and, and everything. He was actually doing the opposite of that. He wanted peace, love, and light. And, as we know, they don't like people like that because it doesn't add anything to them. It doesn't give them technologies to take down a, someone else. Or So they want more people like the reptilians. So she didn't say that, did she? Yes, she did. Reptilians. Now, when I first heard about the reptilians back and all the way back in 1997, I rolled my eyes. I said, 
no way could there be a reptilian. It just sounds too too phony, baloney. By the way, before I get into the reptilian thing, I did want to say that. Where was that at? Oh, by the way, he landed in Virginia. But that, I think most people know that that supposedly he came from this vow, Thor, came from that he claims Venus. And for the people who say, oh, how could that be possible? First of all, nobody's been to Venus. Nobody really knows how Venus is. The scientists over here, blah, 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 blah. They've never been there. That being said, he supposedly said they live underground. And that a lot of people in the solar systems and the universe sometimes live underground. But I also say, I don't think he was all 3D. I mean, he was physical. But I think that he also sort of had, you know, because sometimes they said he appeared and disappeared to places. So, either that or he had the technology to do that. I don't know. But anyway. But, supposedly, I wanted to read this little part. He had copper oxide blood, an IQ of about 1,200. He could speak 100 languages, including, of course, alien. His lifespan also was about 490 years, which, of course, some of them out there supposedly live to a thousand years. But I, I, I could, I could live 490 years. That is, if everyone I knew and loved could all would also live that long. I don't think I would want to live that long if everybody I knew wasn't going to live along with me. It's kind of be, you know, lonely. But anyway. But that, I guess that's the lifespan of his planet. We'll just, we'll just run it off to 500 years, right? They, could, they probably lived like 500 years or something. Whew. Right now, I'd even take 200. <laughs> 100, right? But and then you get to the reptilian. And people go, mm, that's just a little bit too strange. But think about all the the dragons and everything else that you always hear in medi medieval times in the middle ages what if there really was and that was just the reptilians supposedly there was and I know of course you have to take this probably with a grain of salt because but there's supposedly I heard a story somewhere where supposedly someone had um, back in the time when there was supposedly there was the creations were going on that had created that um, supposedly somebody really wanted to create everyone else was that person wanted to create and they didn't get their permission but they created it anyway not in a bad way supposedly but they created it and this is, of course, in the way past counting of echelons of time, right? In another universe. And it turned out to be the Draconians. And when they saw what they created and that it was not really, I mean, it was humanoid, but it wasn't really, you know, like us. They shipped it, they put it in a spaceship and they shipped it all the way over to, um, well, the universe they're in now ours so could there be something to that town i don't know you know you always hear these these supposed creation stories but could they have a little bit of ring of truth to it kind of sounds like somebody was doing something if there is any ring of truth to it there was a scientist who did something and had experiments and poof that's what they ended up with possibly if there's any truth to that I mean, let's face it, Earth is definitely not, and our universe is not as old as, I'm sure there's, I know some people say, a universe, and blah, 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 but there's, let's face it, there's more than one universe. I'm sure there's more than two universes. What do you think the whole cosmos means? It doesn't just mean 
the universe, the galaxies, and the solar system. It means a universe But you never really hear about people talking about more than one universe. And yet, everything is always going, always being created. Just saying. So, could there be things like this, like these, these draconians? I mean, they do say, supposedly, that, and I, I know I roll my eyes a little bit, but supposedly Princess Diana found out too late that the Queen of England and all them had the draconian blood. They did have, suppose, they always called themselves blue bloods, but some people say that's because their blood really was a bluish tint to it, and they really were. Um, half reptilians and that's why they always intermarry now I don't know is it possible I mean theoretically anything is so I don't know what else things supposedly um, that movie uh, oh why do I keep forgetting it the movie I was just trying to talk about yesterday that I forgot um, <laughs> I don't know. Jupiter ascending. That's it. Supposedly, that sort of, you know, that sort of has some sort of a ring to it where they're sort of trying to make themselves younger and, and keep going on and on. And, and I think it sort of was someone who made it sort of was like trying to like sort of put in that there possibly could be something like that really happening and that people really do use you know supposedly they do maybe kill children and people and you know maybe that's what they all the kidnappings and four ones and all that kind of things about I don't know but there's a possibility I do know that and I don't, maybe some of you have seen reptilians and draconians, and supposedly the tra draconian is the, the leader, then they have the reptilians, reptil I don't know how it all goes. Um, I don't actually get into that kind of thing because I always try to stay more positive and not get into the possibility that there's all these things around here. But I just thought I'd add it in since we're talking about the good. Thought I'd talk about the other side as well, supposedly. But my ex-husband, God bless him, um, supposedly did possibly see a reptilian. Of course, this was after we weren't together anymore. Over in North Germany in Flensburg, supposedly one night um, as he was getting ready to go home, he saw one. Now, this is a guy who did not believe in these things. But that freaked him out. It was probably, it was one of these people that had, that was kind of both, I guess, you know, that sort of, they, the shape shift thing, I was really a reptilian, but, you know, it can do the shape shifting thing, it was kind of gross. That would freak me out, especially if it was at night, and it was like, like in a side street or something, you know, and you're like, ugh. Because sometimes I do look for people, you know, they did not, but anyway. A little freaky. Anyway, and at one time I had such a surreal dream. Such a surreal dream where there was a really good looking guy and I really liked him. And we had, well, I don't like to say it on here, video, but we had, you know, and it was great. And then I found out that he was a reptilian. And he was still kind of trying to, you know, like, like he was trying to, you know, hypnotize me. And even after I found out it was a reptilian, I didn't care. He thought that was funny, too. I did not care. I still wanted him. And can I say that for real? That would not happen. If I found out I was a reptilian, I would dump him. Fast. Just saying. But that kind of freaked me out when I woke up and I was thinking, oh my God, in my dream, I still wanted him, even after I knew he was a reptilian. That would not happen for real. I don't care how good he was. Just saying. Just had to put that out there. But anyway, 
<laughs> so I don't know what everyone thinks. I mean, most people probably don't believe in these kind of things. And you know what? It does sound. But these are the kind of, if there are such a thing, that, you know, these, these have agendas too. Just like um, the governments do. These are the kind of people that the government wants to work with. Not the good kind, the not so good kind. So, but I'm still one of these, obviously, I do believe there are aliens out there. And I do believe our government knows all these things and they have records of them, but now, they don't put these things out for whatever their reasons are. Probably because they don't want us to know about the good kind and that they put out about the... Well, they probably are not putting out about any of them because they have some kind of agenda. You know, you always hear about this um, projections and blue beam things, technologies and stuff. They're probably planning on doing a alien <laughs> kind of thing out at, at some point. And I know I said this in a past video, but I still really freaks that me out for that dream I had where I saw a space like it was like a big event that was happening and there was this the spaceship and they were flying low and there was this man beautiful blonde haired man sitting on top of the spaceship and it was like eh, like he was some kind of um, god or something I don't know and he said, welcome, and blah, 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 and we are here to help you, and blah, 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 blah. I kind of got freaked out about it myself. And he said, to have you guys, to have humanity come more, feel more comfortable to us, we are putting out, and he, they sent to every household a robot type thing. But that was like an android, but it, 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 it it looked like a robot android. It didn't look like a human. And one was coming to our house, and I was thinking, oh, my God. Now, you know, but you had to let it in. It's like, ew. But anyway, um, I don't want to make this video any longer than it already is. But I could go on and on and on. But um, anyway, I'll end it now. And say, I wish everybody a happy Tuesday and a lot of nice things to think about right before bedtime, right? Anyway, um, have a wonderful night, sweet dreams, and happy Tuesday. Over now.